Hi guys, you're welcome back to the channel. I am Selassie Travis back with another tutorial. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how I made this beautiful, colorful skirt. So I made this skirt from my maxi pencil skirt pattern. Okay. So this skirt is a symmetric. This skirt has a side drape. So we're going to call this skirt a symmetric side drape pencil skirt, or we could just twist it the other way around and call it a side drape asymmetric pencil skirt. Mm, that sounds good. Okay, so without further ado, let's get to the good parts. So we're going to start by copying a basic skirt pattern onto a fresh pattern paper. So you want to copy this pattern together with your seam allowance. Okay. Next, we need to determine the width of our pattern paper or the width of your fabric if you're drafting directly on your fabric. Now, the width of the fabric you would need to draft the old skirt should be at least twice your hip circumference plus six inches. Okay, this should be the least. Um, so, I'm going to start by drafting the front first. So, you want your front pattern paper to be your hip circumference plus two inches for seam allowance. Why? For the back pattern, you want your paper width to be your hip circumference plus four inches. So this four inches includes two inches for seam allowance and two inches for zip allowance. So now that I've copied my pattern like this, um, the next thing we're going to do is to create the asymmetric style line. I'm going to measure down from the knee line to the M line and mark the midpoints. Now I'm going to square a horizontal line right across this point. So I don't get confused, I'll go ahead and draw out my seam allowance that is already present on this pattern. Okay. So to create the drapey effect on the left-hand side of the skirt, you would need to extend the hip line. Um, the extension of the hip line depends on the amount of fullness you want on your drape. So you can either extend the hip line with half of your waist circumference or half of your hip circumference, you know, whatever you desire. Now from this point, I'm going to mark half of my hip circumference. So this is what I'm going to be using for this tutorial plus half of an inch for M allowance. So I'm using half inch M allowance because this edge of the drip is going to be a curved edge and it's easier to M a curved edge with at most half inch M allowance. All right. Now, once this is done, I am going to square a vertical line right across this point like so. Now I'm going to measure down half inch M allowance from this point and using my French curve, I'm going to draw a curve line just to form that asymmetric M. Then I'm going to draw a curve line from this point blending to the curve line below. And I should have something like this. So mine did not come out perfect, but this would do. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and draw out my M allowance, which is already present on this pattern. So this is what it looks like after drawing out the M allowance. And then I'll go ahead and cut this pattern out. So this is what your pattern should look like. Um, for the back piece, you should have two pieces. So the only difference between the front and the back is the zipper allowance. Okay. So I'm going to use another pattern paper just to show you what your back pattern should look like. All right. So this is my back pattern. I've pinned both pieces together and I want the M of the zipper allowance to follow the M of the skirt. So I'm just going to trim off this portion. 
So once this is done, I'm just going to go ahead and mark where my zip allowance is going to end and where my slit is going to begin from. Once I unpin this pattern, it should look something like this. So you should have two pieces for the back and your pieces should be like this, okay? For the sewing instruction, first you want to sew your dart, add your zipper, then you want to run a loose stitch from where your zipper ends down to the M of the skirt. That is, you want to temporarily close the center back, okay? Once that is done, sew your front dart as well. And then bring the front and the back pattern together like so. Right side facing right side. Sew this part of the side seam together, okay? Flip both pieces to the right side, okay? So you want wrong side facing wrong side. Then this dotted line I have is the actual hip measurement, okay? The actual side seam measurement. So you want to sew on the actual side seam measurement, not on the seam allowance. So to do this, you need to, you know, use a chalk to mark this out because at this point you should be sewing on your fabric. You want to use a chalk to just draw out your side seam line. Then once this is done, you want to M the waistline of the drapey portion of the skirt and then add in your waistband. By the way, the waistband I use for this skirt is just a straight waistband. So a straight waistband is just a rectangle, okay? So that's it. And your skirt should be done at this point. So guys, this is my skirt. And the fabric I use for this skirt is just uh, an original cotton Ankara. And I'll add some good amounts of drape on the skirt, okay? So you can use a light, a medium to lightweight fabric to sew the skirt and you'll get a good drape. Now, as I said, you want to kind of manipulate this drapey side when attaching your band. Okay, so I had to like flip it. If you look closely, you could see that I manipulated that portion of the drip before fixing my band. Well, I hope you find this tutorial helpful. If you do, remember to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Yes, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for always coming back. Thank you so much. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.